welcome to my channel I think I can call it a channel now that uh, you have if you comment you have a few things to watch because yeah it was weird for me to call it a channel with just one video it was like weird but yeah to the point today I'm gonna try out this um, it's uh, tones for brunettes it's the tone berry pick from Revolution Beauty. Uh, theoretically, I am a brunette. I'm just seeing the examples they have uh, posted on social media with uh, light brown hair uh, people. And uh, I was I was curious. I'm pretty sure that it's not gonna show up that much because even in the light brown haired people, it didn't show up as much. So I was like um, a little bit <laughs> underwhelmed about it, um, uh, but still I'm gonna try. And also I wanted to try to and see how it looks on my white hairs. So if you're interested, just uh, stay, stay watching, and let's find out. Oh, by the way, I'm. Um, my hair is completely uh, washed. I've just washed it and dried it. It has nothing on. Usually when uh, when I dye my hair, uh, I wait one or two days for <laughs> for the, you know, a little bit of uh, the grease of the hair to, uh, you know, come out. <laughs> because uh, it's a permanent hair dye, but this is uh, non-permanent. And I'm pretty sure this is not as aggressive as, uh, you know, the u the usual uh, hair dye I use. I used Herbatint. So, yeah. Uh, floors climbed go. Okay. <laughs> There's no stairs in my house, so I don't know what it's talking about. <laughs> anyways I thought I, I looked at it because I thought my husband was uh, calling me so anyways I'll stop the chatter now and let's find out how it goes so I'm just gonna go ahead and use uh, air dye kit put the co all the content on the oh looks like this it's like a cream <sighs> see how it goes yourself some gloves if you're gonna do this. <laughs> This is not practical. This is not practical at all. Jesus Christ. The f I have to rinse my hands and I'm gonna waste product of course. But I just don't want it to clean my hands which is too late for that now and it has stayed also my yeah my sink be very really careful don't be as uh, trusting as I was I have I had no idea what I was uh, getting myself into Jesus why would you do this some bleach on my the ends of my hair and then I used the manic panic I used manic panic and it was really cool 
I really like the result. I don't know. Wear suitable gloves and protect clothing. Apply to clean and dry hair in sections. Using an applicator brush, wait 30 minutes and rinse with lukewarm water. Style as desired. Yeah. So yeah, I was saying that uh, I dyed my hair with manic panic around 2012. When the, when the ombre look was like in vogue. I think that's it with <laughs> another problem with this thing is that you don't know how much left it is in there uh, it still feels heavy it still feels like there's something in there so mm -mm. this bottle is ridiculous I thought the consistency it's just splashing us. I do this, you see, and then it splashes me. It's not that I'm digging my hands into in there. I, I swear I'm not. Jesus Christ! This is not practical. This is not at all practical. I'm very turned off by this. I'm gonna stick this into pull out the, the remaining product in there because I still feel that there's a lot in there but I can get it out it's just the consistency is too thick to be in this kind of bottle oh, I'm scared I'm gonna dye my hair pink I'm gonna dye my hair pink right now. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. So now it looks like this. You need to change this bottle. It sucks. Okay? If you ever watch this, <laughs> I really don't think so. But I'm gonna write them on their Instagram and say I got this and it's a fucking mess. And you need to change it. Woo! It's getting hot in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it, and then I'm gonna cover it. I'm gonna cover it with a with a plastic hat. You know, some of those. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to cover the my hidden tile. I'm just gonna do it like on like this side. This. So I have a ponytail like an Ariana Grande's uh, ponytail like this. I'm gonna try to cover this amount of hair because I, yeah, when I got it, I also realized that I didn't get it by enough. My hair is too long and it's not like I have a lot, but still, this is not enough for, yeah. So let's go and do it. I need a hairband. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I used to watch a, a vegan YouTuber. She's not vegan anymore. And she used to do that. And I was like, let's do this. I really liked her. I was really disappointed when uh, people found out that she was a vegan. the roots and then I'll just finish up with the ends right to make it easier for me because I'm not I'm not a professional so I really don't know how to handle this and <laughs> I don't have gloves on so yeah this is entirely my fault but yeah. I really wanted to do this now because my my white hairs were just <sighs> yeah getting really long so, it stains really, really fast. 
it really stains really really bad. No, I... Just look at this. Uh oh. <laughs> no. Ah, <laughs> uh, but it's big. It's fine. Semi permanent, so it's not like stain for good. Set sixty degrees. pitch black So this is the result. I dried my hair and <laughs> I uh, straightened the hair so you would appreciate a little bit more of the results and um, to be honest, I'm not very happy. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I was very drawn to this. This is my cat tail. <laughs> Silves! Come on! Um, I was drawn to this on Revolution Beauty um, Insta Feed. And I was totally drawn to it. Actually, uh, back in 2012, Kitty. Back in 2012, I dyed my hair. I had this, uh, I was with this hom ombre trend, you know, where you had this degraded uh, from like a very dark color to a, a lighter color on the, on the ends. And then I dyed it pink and I was really happy about it. So when I saw this on Instagram, I was like, maybe I can do it again. You know, this pandemic has made me really bored. That's why I started this channel. I, I, that's the reason why I started because otherwise I wouldn't have time. Anyways, but then after that, after dyeing my hair pink and doing that ombre thing, I didn't really do it again. I went to this uh, be more natural, uh, you know, type person, if that makes sense. And uh, 
now that I struggle a lot with my white hairs as you can see uh, I use Herbitint it's completely vegan and cruelty free that's the thing I've been using for years for years since in Mexico and here in Denmark that it's very easy to get so oh but I also use um, only like black like if you can see well it kind of looks like a bit reddish right now because of this but um, I mean my hair is pitch black and I always even that my hair grows a little bit lighter um, if I try another type of hair dye it looks red if I go for a um, lighter shade like for example light brown or something it looks reddish and it's the type of hair I, ha I have from my mom. My mom has the same problem. She uses pitch, a pitch black hair dye as well. So yeah, that's a problem. But I mean, uh, I was actually wondering, uh, are black haired women also brunettes or is it just brown hair? But actually in the Merriam-Webster uh, defines brunette as a person having brown hair or black hair. So yeah, I'm a brunette. Otherwise, we would be black knit. No. <laughs> Anyways, uh, things that I like about this and why I bought it it's because it's vegan, it's cruelty free. Usually, I like Make a Revolution stuff a lot. But I mean, this is affordable and. Um, but it, well, it is not worth the hassle at all. Uh, it does take more than a week to arrive to Denmark. Uh, I know at this moment it's for the pandemic, but now I think also because of the Brexit, uh, it's gonna take even longer for stuff to arrive. Um, so that's a little bit of torn off. I ordered this stuff uh, before Valentine's, if I'm not wrong. It was a uh, same Valentine's Day, and yeah, it arrived around the 20 something can't remember I didn't really take note of it but it did take a while hmm anything else well where do I start and I'm getting mighty tired look at my nails and I'm actually gonna upload the video of this manicure first but this is not the shade I used <laughs> so yeah, you'll see if you watch the video and um, um, I all, I'm always touching my hair and I'm always doing this it kind of relaxes me I'm always doing this so well yeah as you can see just look at this this is not good like everything is pink except you know my white hairs which doesn't really make sense I know some kind of like white hairs are, are harder to dye I think and my, my my type of white hairs are kind of like the ones that are harder to dye, uh, to cover up. So yeah, I mean this is uh, semi-permanent, so maybe I understand why. But this is just insane. I mean the fact that you cannot wash your hair with a shampoo after applying this, I think it's the whole issue with this. Also, <laughs> this freaking bottle. Who thought about this? Is the texture is so so thick that um, when you try to get it out and put it on the on the bowl you're gonna use, it's so hard to it's really hard to get it out, and uh, it's also impossible to see if there's anything left. Like, okay, am I using? There's still something in there. I can feel it, but I couldn't get it out. It's just impossible. Also, <clears throat> yeah, I, I mean, this bottle is ridiculous. The, the bottle, I mean, the people who developed this product, either they have never dyed her hair or never thought about that the texture of this product is was going to be problematic. I was thinking about that. Actually, the, the, the consistency of the product was going to be more fluid and that's why it came in a bottle. But it's like, uh, the texture is like um, a hair treatment. So it was 
and you have to squeeze and the bottle is not so easy to and squeeze especially but because of the the, the ends jacket. they're really hard so it's not like you can squeeze you really can't uh, also if if you're planning on using this i mean <laughs> if you have long hair like i do and the amount of hair is kind of like a average you 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 need another bottle you need another bottle and don't forget your gloves mm. try to protect your bathroom everything is splashed in my bathroom like it was horrible well will i use it again absolutely not i mean it's not worth the hassle for this kind of like purpley purpley nuance it gave me which is cute except except for this of course um, it's not worth it in two days this is gonna be gone I don't know if it's actually gonna be gone from my scalp because this is ridiculous um, yeah I really don't <laughs> I wouldn't recommend you buy it I really wouldn't mm, I mean I actually <laughs> googled and other hair dyes uh, in the market here in Denmark uh, and I'm pretty sure you can get this somewhere else uh, there's a lot of uh, pink vegan hair dyes also cruelty free I mean it's uh, lime crime it comes in a jar uh, you're an accent I think this is a Swedish brand enough, if I'm not wrong uh, also says this crew is uh, vegan and anything produced in, in in Denmark and also Sweden, if I'm not wrong, N nothing is tested on animals. Uh, also, the Gypsy Gypsy Shrine. It also says in Beauty Bay that it's vegan and cruelty free. Uh, I mean, manic panic. Actually, the the, the time I dyed my hair pink uh, back in 2012, it was manic panic. Uh, I did one on, on on my own. Actually, it was uh, I did the ombre, which. It wasn't professional. That's that's why I wanted to cover it with the pink, cause it it yeah, it wasn't professional. <laughs> that's all I can say. It wasn't that bad, but I really like the pink. I really like the pink. I I, I kind of miss it. Miss it. Um, mm, there's also from Maria Nila Color Refresh Pink Pop. Pink Pop. I really don't know how that works. There's a lot. There's a lot. Also, I think you can also get manic panic here in Denmark. I've seen, I think this is a store I really like, Blue Girl. It's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Beach London. I haven't actually checked this. Is it doesn't say if it's vegan or not. Yeah, usually it's Sephora, it says. Mm, yeah, it doesn't say acid red 92. Mm, nah, it doesn't say anything. I mean, uh, there's like lime crime and manic panic. I would stick to those and probably also be on the accent. Yeah, the gypsy shrine also sounds good. So Still clear. Still clear. This sucks. I'm sorry. This sucks. And well, I really hope I uh, helped you out if you were thinking about getting this shit or not. And uh, give it a thumbs up if it helped you or if you liked the video. And uh, subscribe if you can. I don't know. I, I feel weird about. I, asking for subscribers because I'm a hard subscriber as well I have to like go through a lot of videos for someone to like really convince me and uh, you know what I really want to keep watching you so I'll subscribe so yeah just do it if you want to if not it's okay I know I have I have to maybe get better so I don't know make better content I don't know if you're watching this if you could say what uh, would you like to watch, it would help me a lot. But well, take care and see you next time.
if you want to. 